कम यू वाले इंजन यार साइल का क्या है व्हाई डू वी नीड द डी एफ टी व्हेन वी हैव फोर ईयर ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन व्हाई डू वी नीड द डिस्क्रेट व्हेन वी हैव कंटिन्यूस फोर ईयर ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन दैट वी हैव डिस्कस्ड इन अ प्रीवियस वीडियो एंड लिंक इज गिवन इन दिस डिस्क्रिप्शन सो वॉट इज द डिस्क्रेट डिस्क्रेट इज यूज फॉर द डिजिटल इमेज एज वी नो द होल वर्ल्ड इज डिजिटलाइज सॉरी डिजिटलाइजिंग सो वी नीड द डिजिटल इमेज फॉर डिजिटल इमेज वी नीड हैव टू कन्वर्ट Uh, our uh, special domain into the frequency domain we have to use discrete fourier transformation that is denoted by dft and f of k so in the forward form dft is k equal to 0 to n minus 1 f of x e raised to minus j 2 pi k w by n so what is your k k is exist 0 greater than equal to and less than equal to n minus 1 in a case of inverse dft there are f of uh, uh, f inverse of f of k which is equal to f of n because it just like symbol f uh, x and u so there it, it is a x or it is your k and it is your small n so how will we show uh, what is the formula of it so 1 by n k equal to 0 to n minus 1 f of k dot e k raised to j 2 pi upon n capital n multiply k small n and small n belongs to greater than equal to 0 less than n minus 1 in a case of 2d f sorry dft so formula is similar like for a transformation in continuous signal so we will go for it uh, it is also used for two variables so there are the two uh, summation and f of x comma y x equal to 0 to m minus 1 and y equal to 0 to n minus 1 f of x comma y and e raised to j 2 pi multiply by u x by m plus v y upon n okay if you if you want to just do the inverse so you have to uh, convert it into f of x comma y right so see In a case of f x comma y, which is equal to one upon m n, like one upon n, so there are the two variables, so one upon m n. There are the two summation f of y u and v. Now this time u and v because we are finding x comma y. This is the original signal. Oh, this is the original signal. Don't forget it. This is the original signal. Okay, f u comma v e raised to j two pi u x divided by m plus v y upon n. So what is the u and v actually? It is transform gray variable, right? What is the gray variable? And this is your original variables. So what will we say? X comma y is your special image variable. Why we are saying it is a special image variable? Because image, our input image is a special domain, and we what we want the output? Output we want in a frequency domain. That's why there are the transport gray variable. Got it, guys? Now we will discuss about the properties of Fourier transformation. Now we will discuss about the properties of the Fourier transformation. There are the nine properties. First one, your separability. It means we can convert, not we convert. We can say uh, if we want to create the two D transformation using the two one D transformation, we can do this. It means if I use two one D transformation, I can easily get two D transformation. If I talk about translo, uh, translation, it is too easy as we know the translate the things. and uh, periodically if i used for the end time we can do in a both way or either in a original signal or in a inverse of it so in the in a, in the case of conjugate this is the thing that you need to know to visualize the fourier spectrum if we want to know how can we get the fourier spectrum we have to do the conjugate theek okay? hai in the rotation to rotate simply distributive distributive is means if i edit two fourier transformation i will get the addition of this right but in the multiplication it will not work so there are the little disadvantage of it that uh, we can't multiply to fourier and if we, if we think we get the multiplication of it it is not like that but addition in the addition it will work scale up, scaling it means you can scale up and scale down it that's simple and the convolution it means if you multiply this and you will multiply this you can convert this to this one and this to this one it means like if you convert a dft if you df dft you will get this one and if you just reverse to i dft that's all and a correlation if you do the xor you will get the star of u comma v and g of u comma v in a two variable form so i hope you guys have understood about the dft and the properties of the fourier transformation so don't forget to like our video and don't forget to share my video and don't forget to subscribe my channel jai hind jai bharat milta hu next video ke sath